I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. Also, I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals. I am on a mission to help 1 lakh healthcare professionals to attain financial security through career into clinical research industry. Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, I am going to discuss some FAQs frequently asked questions around clinical research industry. And I hope by the end of this video, you will get answer to your questions. Okay, so let's begin with FAQs. So first common question is, what is exactly clinical research industry? So clinical research means clinical trials. So it's, this industry is related to clinical trials and clinical trials means bringing any new drug to market. Uh, if the pharma company wants to, you know, uh, bring any drug to market, then for that they need to run clinical trial. So if this industry is, this uh, field is everything, it's related to drug and diseases. Uh, because diseases are there that's why drugs are required and also old diseases are there for which permanent cure is not there so all the activities which happens around clinical trial comes in clinical research industry second question who all are eligible to work inside this industry so all life science graduates including healthcare professionals so life science graduates means bsc geology uh, microbiology graduates uh, BSc Biotechnology, BTech Biotechnology and if I talk about healthcare professionals then all dentists, physiotherapists, uh, nursing professionals like uh, BSc, MSc Nursing, MBBS, MD people and alternate medicine graduates also like BA, MS, BA, HM and BUMS all are eligible and as per our degree we all get work inside this industry other question is what are the different verticals to clinical research industry so many of uh, many of keep asking me that uh, cl if clinical data management is same or clinical research is different or what all this is so let me tell you that main thing is clinical research clinical trial uh, because clinical trials are happening that's why we need management of data that is clinical data management we also need medical writers to write uh, various reports inside clinical research that comes the role of medical writers also we need pharmacovigilance activity because whenever any clinical trial is happening then there is a watch required on a drug activity drug safety also when a drug is in market after successful completion of clinical trial then also the watch is necessary to you know keep a watch on the activity of the drug means how the drug is behaving inside clinical trial or once the drug is in market after successful completion of the clinical trial so that is pharmacovigilance there is regulatory affairs also that deals with you know uh, regulatory submissions and all those kinds of thing so all are verticals of clinical research uh, uh, clinical trial right so all are verticals different verticals to clinical research now another common question is which one is best i mean people ask like if it's good to go into pv or clinical research or medical writing or regulatory affairs so let me tell you one thing at a fresher level whatever you get just go inside because we all know what is the thing what is the uh, employment uh, thing in india so much of unemployment is there especially at a fresher level there is a cutthroat competition so just get into just don't wait don't wait that you know let's say you want to work inside medical writing don't just sit and just wait for medical writing itself whatever you are getting just get into later on you can move your profile also once you you know have that uh, experience and definitely you will get uh, salary also in that process right so you will gain some sort of uh, experience so d don't just wait that i need just medical writing and when i will get it then uh, i will do the job no whatever you are getting just get into Another thing is what is the nature of work uh, because healthcare professionals also work inside this industry and many times because I am also a dentist. So uh, when I did not join this industry and I used to think that how a person from a clinical background can work inside a non-clinical industry 
and i was not able to correlate the things when i was practicing my dentistry but later on when i shifted to this industry i got to know uh, and i am able to connect the things also now otherwise i was totally uh, stuck to my clinical practice so for especially for healthcare professionals who are into their clinical practice and they want to move to clinical research industry which is a non clinical profile so see it doesn't mean that it's totally different it's related to our field also our knowledge medicine pharmacology and surgery knowledge which we gained in our graduation it's related to that only so the only difference is here you will be dealing with patient data not live patient that is the only difference so it is typical desk like job just like it people have you you need just wifi and laptop and you will be you know working around patient data you will be analyzing the reports uh, you will be you will be you will be entering the patient reports patient data inside database you will be you know generating narrative so all activity uh, happens around patient data okay not live patient other question is what are the perks and benefits of working inside this industry so clinical research industry is also a typical mnc culture it is corporate culture mnc culture so whatever benefits are there inside mnc culture you will get all inside this industry also so if i talk about uh, so all companies work monday to friday so definitely you will get two days off not necessarily maybe saturday sunday maybe you can get sunday monday or maybe tuesday wednesday like this but definitely two days off will be there other benefits all medical insurance benefit you will get for females you will get maternity leaves paid maternity leaves for 6 months and few companies they have started paternity leave also like 10 days 15 days that you can avail uh, we have flexible work environment because a few companies they are giving work from home options also so with that especially for married female with kids they can get the flexible work environment other than this uh, many companies they are uh, working in a hybrid model also means in 5 days you have to just go to office 3 days or 2 days and remaining days you can do work from home okay so these all typical mnc culture is there so these are the perks and benefits uh, of working inside this industry now another frequent question which i get is how fair are the chances to you know to uh, settle for any abroad location so yes this is very good industry to start if you looking for some uh, settlement in for any abroad location because i always keep telling in my videos that uh, clinical research is, is the industry which all started from other countries okay because india not invest so much into clinical trials but other developed countries they are doing so their government is investing money into research so it all started from there but now in india because of increase awareness among healthcare professionals and also now patient know what is clinical trial because of all these factor in india also it's emerging and definitely will boom in coming years so there are very good chances to settle abroad and uh, to know more like how you can go for the same you can watch my previous video i already made a video on how you can have Uh, career opportunity into clinical research industry for a broad location you can go through that video another uh, common question is what is the basic starting salary so i will talk about like if you are a life science graduate and other healthcare professionals except mbbs md uh, then your basic uh, salary may vary i will talk about in terms of ctc so it may vary from 2.5 to 4 and 4.5 lakh at a fresher level ctc okay so this much variation is there depending on company location everything matters and especially for mbbs md guys if you are starting at a fresher level inside clinical research industry very easily very easily you can get a ctc of 5 to 6 lakh up to 7 8 lakh also depending again depending on the company okay another question is what are the basic it skills required for this industry uh, because many things that because uh, especially healthcare professionals who are coming from clinical background so being from a clinical background we all know uh, how much uh, you know we we struggle to work inside any uh, technical thing right so technical thing is not good for uh, clinician uh, the person who is coming from a clinical background so many get scared also like they have to work uh, i mean they should be having a high it level high it skills no nothing like that you should be knowing just basic things means uh, microsoft word excel powerpoint uh, that's all yeah basic basic thing is required 
and definitely see no one i mean no one comes with a high speed or efficiency definitely when you start working on these uh, documents i mean microsoft word uh, things you you get your speed automatically with your experience because in daily to daily job you have to do the same thing then automatically that speed efficiency comes okay another important question is is there work from home opportunities available so for this let me tell you one thing that few companies they are providing work from home options but at a fresher level not so much opportunities will be there because in covid it was there in covid 19 times it was totally work from home but now after you know covid 19 uh, era finishes no uh, now uh, companies started calling employees to office and they are working in hybrid model also okay but uh, for a fresher it's very important to go to office because you know uh, at a fresher level you will be in a training period for let's say 4 5 or 6 months and training period to give training it's little bit challenging if you are doing work from home so maybe at a fresher level you have to go to office and uh, you you do you manage the things accordingly later on you can ask for work from home options or hybrid thing also depending on how are your relationship with your managers and what is your you know uh, how is your relationship and how is the working inside okay all thing all these things matters and otherwise few companies are there who are giving but suggestion is not just wait for work from home if you can go to office or you can relocate be ready for that also and later on you can take work from home options now the question comes what are the working hours and shift so mostly working hours are like 8 to 9 hours and uh, mostly um, inside clinical research industry companies work in shift because mostly the work which is coming to india is from like united states european countries australia and other countries okay so because of this time zone difference mostly companies work in two shift one is morning like 5:36 to 2:33 another is like 3 or 3:30 to 10:30 uh, or 11 in night so these are two shifts few companies they work in journal shifts also like 9 to 6 and 8 to 5 okay so this is about working hours and working shifts another important question which many times healthcare professionals ask that you know along with clinic can they do this job so let me tell you one thing that it's a proper job okay it's not a uh, if you get a job inside clinical research industry then it's not a part time job it's a proper job so you can't Uh, you know run your clinic along with your job initially in your uh, you know uh, transition phase initial phase is definitely you can't run your clinic so for that period you can hire someone uh, you can give salary to that person who can take care of your clinic in your absence okay uh, so yeah you can't run clinic along with this job okay so you can focus on your job and you can hire someone for your clinic by this way you can do the things and on weekends maybe you can serve the patients also okay last question is which is very important and common questions because many times uh, many healthcare professional especially who are coming from some medical background dental background or physiotherapist also or alternate medicine graduate who invested a lot of you know money energy and time into their graduation studies they think that once they completed bds or mbbs or for that matter bhms bs bms or bpt they think that this is enough and this is end of the studies after that there is no requirement of studies so let me tell you that uh, nowadays world is changing a lot okay so the only thing only uh, only i mean change is the only constant we all know right so if you are not changing as the world is changing then you are just surviving okay and if you want to grow if you want to excel in your field doesn't matter whatever it is then you have to keep yourself updated and aware that is very sure okay otherwise you are just surviving you are not growing and you know even a dog street dog is surviving right so it's not a matter of survival it's it's like how much you are growing into your domain that matters so even people who are inside industry they keep themselves you know uh, updated they up, they upskill themselves regularly so that you know they can grow inside job also so to get a job also you have to update yourself maybe you have to upskill yourself you need to have some sort of certification any sort of certifications you know to get the basic idea understanding of the field because see 
our education system okay either you know it's a school or graduation whatever it is in india our education system is all about volume of information and our college and schools they are assessing us just based on our marks topper list grades and all those stuff no college taught us how to run a clinic or a hospital right so they they are not uh, Uh, they are not teaching us the practical thing they are just going with the theory part and you know that's why it's very very important to upskill yourself after your graduation or even in job you have to be updated you have to upskill yourself that's how you grow okay so uh, this is all about the questions and i hope i covered all the basic questions which i get on a you know a regular uh, manner i get these questions that's why i made this video and if any question is still pending or if any question is there uh, uh, for, for which you are looking for the answer please uh, comment your question in the chat box and definitely i will answer that through chat box or maybe i will bring some new video on the same topic okay and uh, please 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 uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this video and uh, next time i will be coming up with some fresh video till then stay safe and stay healthy thank you